Man, you know, I heard that if given the choice of superpowers, mm -hmm. most people would choose flight. Mm, not me, man. I would choose to have a heightened sense of smell. What do you mean? Like, you want to be able to smell things from a great distance or something like that? No, no, no. I would want to give off a smell. I would, I would be able to attract elk, repel burglars, and I would get all the ladies. <laughs> you know you lost me at elk, right? Just like last summer's Spider-Man, Superman gets another reboot in Man of Steel, a sure-to-be darker version of the epic tale than we have ever seen before. At the helm is 300 and Watchmen director Zack Snyder, who once again tells the story Lovely. of a little dark-haired alien boy whose parents send him to a foreign planet in search of a new life. Let's just hope he doesn't land in Arizona. The Why would we make this movie? <laughs> Why? Christopher Reeve is the one and only Superman. Case closed, baby. No, no, actually, George Reeves was the very first Superman. Who the hell is George Reeves? Christopher Reeve is my man. He has been Superman forever, okay? No, no I understand that, but George Reeves played Superman in the 1950s. Christopher Reeve played Superman in the 70s and in the 80s. And this new guy, Brandon Ruth, he plays Superman in 2006. So there's a bunch of them. It's like James there's Bond people. It's like a whole bunch of Superman information for me right now. I can't take it, man. I don't want to hear all that, man. Hey, it's too much hey, for me. Hey, hey. hey, man, listen, don't hate me, man. I'm, I love superhero movies, you know what I'm saying? I actually, I heard that they're even going to remake Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman. Who the hell is Aquaman? A Aquaman, man. Come on, you know Aquaman. I don't Aquaman. Know, I don't know who the hell that is? He was part of the Justice League, man. He talked to the fish. I mean, fish man. Damn fish man, what's wrong so with you? you telling me Mr. Fishman down the block ain't real? Man, I'm not even going to go there with you, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Aquaman. He lived under the sea. Seaman? What's about seaman? No, there's no damn seaman, man. There's no damn seaman. No. Say one thing, this new guy's pretty damn handsome. That's one good looking white man right there. I heard he's so handsome, man. They had to cast an ugly guy to play Clark Kent. Why are they going to do that? Because Superman and Clark Kent are the same person. Clark Kent is his alter ego, and Superman is his secret identity. I don't know what you're talking about. How do you keep a secret identity when you look that damn good? Has anyone ever said, hey, Clark, you're a handsome man. Has anybody ever told you that you look exactly like Superman? No, that's never going to happen because he has these super glasses, man. They disguise oh, him. Everybody knows that. I can't even believe you're talking about it. What is wrong with you? I don't super glasses? Yeah. Where, where the hell do you get super glasses from? Is there a super glasses store somewhere? Did he have those glasses on when he was in that crystal pod flying to Earth? Are there any baby pictures of little ass Superman flying around that little pod with grown man glasses on? Man, I don't even know why you get mad at me, man. If you're talking all nasty at me, man, you must be out of your mind. I'm a grown ass man. I can't even be talking to me like this, man. I'm not getting nasty with you. You're thinking of somebody else. Where'd JB go? JB! JB Smoove and Garfield watch Greg Benson's movie review and then give you their thoughts on a good day to die hard. Jack and Uncle Al debate the terrestrial locomotion of zombies, the lack of zombies at the Olympics, and the merit of zombie literature. Jesse Miller advises unsuspecting movie fans on what to rent from Redbox. Tis the season. Gray Drake gives you her top 10 holiday films of all time. Ben Lyons gives his take on Aaron Sorkin's real-time Steve Jobs biopic, Redundancy in Hollywood, and is joined by Colleen Ballinger, a.k.a. Miranda Sings. Devin Faraci visits iconic Hollywood locations used by one of the most badass filmmakers ever, Quentin Tarantino. Get your film fix. Subscribe to Cinefix.